Are we on? Yeah, we're on. Okay. Hi, it's Jody. <laughs> so earlier today I made a picture, um, I made a video of my shoes because I was just trying to get the perfect setting and everything for my video and that was a whole lesson and it's a great video uh, about just getting over, everything needs to be perfect. So the video that I wanted to make at that time is this one. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take a walk through my bedroom and we're gonna have an important lesson. Oh, I didn't grab my box. So <laughs> we're gonna take a walk through my bedroom and we're gonna get real. I'm not gonna hide anymore behind the camera and just show from here up. I'm gonna show you some of the stuff I gotta deal with. And the lesson here is permission. <laughs> One of the reasons I don't make enough art or do anything creative is because of this table. Can you come in here and just get a picture of this table? And how like there's stuff everywhere. And I always think that I have to like clean all this up and put it all away in each little place in this room before I can make art. So what I'm here to do right now is something really powerful. And I'm a visual person, so I need to make this video so I can look back at it and see this visual. All right, so anything I like need right away and I wanna know where it is, I'm gonna throw in the bed. There's art supplies here. That was a journal I threw over there. There was a box from putting my laptop on it to prop up my iPad to make videos. There is a book here, a very special book that a really special friend of ours let me borrow. And when we first brought it home, I read most of it. Wyatt doesn't even know that. But the reason it's on the corner of my art table, waiting for me to do something with it, is because I have a crappy memory and I don't remember most of what I read. And that bothered me. So I didn't want him to return it to her yet because I wanted to read it again so I'd remember. So if she asked me questions, she'd know I really read it. Well, you know what? I know I really read it. It's okay. And he can give this back to her now. And maybe someday she'll see this video and she'll be like, that's why you kept the book so long? That's stupid, right? So we're gonna gently put this over here so nothing bad happens to it because it is very special. But what we're about to do now I have like, um, you know, art projects that are half done um, that just look too perfect and I can't get them to look like messy in that random kind of way. And I'm just gonna give, get rid of it. Oh, how did this get on the art table? I don't know. That was my puppy, she's so cute. <laughs> um, oh, what's this? Cups, because I'm inspired by songs and across the universe, the Rufus, Rufus Wainwright version inspired me to make a song that involves words are spilling out like endless rain into a paper cup. Yeah, those are the paper cups I was gonna use for that project. Oh look, we have art journaling. I've read this a few times, have not actually sat down at this table to work in my art journal any of the things I learned in this book. It's okay to throw it in a box for now. Oh look, paper crafting and stenciling. This is what I really want to do. What I really want to do and what I really want on this video is this. I have permission. I have permission. I sell Scentsy. We had a flash sale last fall before Christmas time. And I bought for $6.50 a little plug-in warmer. And I was like, oh, I'll just, it doesn't matter what it looks like because I'm going to just so it and paint it myself and seal it. And then I'm going to have my own Scentsy warmer sitting here before Christmas. I have permission to do this. I have permission to throw it in a box. And I'll get to it when I get to it. I have permission to have a clean slate to do whatever I want. I have permission. I have permission to make art or not make art. But I know I won't make any with all that clutter sitting here. And I knew what I needed to do. I knew it had to be dressed. <sighs> this is a really big one for me, you guys. I sat with this clutter for a really long time. I mean, I showed you something was before Christmas. It's freaking the end of July now. <sighs> so, 
Yeah. Wow. Ironically, I'll probably actually make something now because I did that. So I am here today to officially give everyone permission to shove it all aside, get rid of it, get it out of the house, put it in the corner, throw it in the trash. I was doing some purging last week and I was making a giveaway pile and and I looked I had like three little things that were actually good enough to give away and I had this thought in my head that part of the problem is I can't just get stuff out of here because I have to sort through it because I can't put it all in the landfill. Well, then you know what came to me? Yes, we should try to recycle everything we can. We should try to reuse everything we can. Reusing can lead to hoarding, be very careful. And we should try to keep things out of the landfill. And then I had this amazing heart expansion. And the thought that came to me was if all of us would purge the crap in our physical surroundings and purge all the electronic media crap in our lives, un unjoin groups and, um, you know, clean out your files on your computer and just get every aspect of your life uncluttered. You know what occurred to me? We would all be so connected to our heart and soul that we would literally change the world we live in. And then it wouldn't matter how much stuff we put in a landfill because with all these millions of heart connected people, we would have people coming up with ways to take all that garbage and make free energy. And I think that's one of those things that's out there that I've heard of that people are already doing, but because we don't have enough heart-centered people in our lives and in the world making it a reality. So I know it can be done. And that thought got me over the throwing it away. Throw it away. It's okay to throw it away. We need to make this a mantra. It's okay to throw it away. The old rules. Get rid of the rules. So I'm, I'm officially here to give you permission. Just do it, just do it. And don't worry about what you put in the landfill because until you fix this, we can't fix the landfills. So fix this. Bye. Joy Love Bus.